How's it going, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to talk with you guys about a, a couple of films that I watched actually this weekend um, and that I thought was just that I haven't talked about that I just thought I'd get my couple of pins on it, maybe recommendations for some of you guys that may be interested in to watch something that you maybe haven't watched before. Uh, one particular, especially all you guys that are into that type of cult type of horror stuff like that, uh, I think that a recommended watch would be for you guys would be The Regression, a movie called The Regression. Um, it's starring Ethan Hawke and I believe Emma Watson, um, and it definitely has that definitely cult vibe to it. Uh, when I watched the movie, what I got from the movie, I got that same vibe what I got from, if you guys know, remember the movie called The Witch. That's what this. That's what the movie Regression reminded me of. It, it was almost like it was the same thing. Everything was basically the same. The storyline and everything. It, it, there really wasn't no difference to it. Um, I think it was a okay film. It was okay, not that great because the fact that it was just something that I already seen. The storyline was pretty much the same as the movie The Witch. Um, it was okay, pretty decent for you guys out there that like that cult films. I highly recommend the movie Regression for you guys starring Ethan Hawke and uh emma watson from the harry potter franchise now another another movie i want to talk about just for a little bit is the movie uh the nun the 2016 film the nun the 2016 film the nun um it was it was, it was okay it was pretty cool um i did have a little bit of concern with it and uh particularly mainly with specifically with the storyline i just felt that it was the storyline was just it was kind of too vague it was too simple it was like there wasn't nothing that really got me excited about the film, uh, about the storyline, what really made it like to where I was like, oh, it was just so amazing of a job. Another, another thing I want to point out, I want to know that any of you guys catch this, that at the very end of the 2016 film, The Nun, that do you notice how the um, the guy that stayed in Romania lived over there? I guess he was originally from France, but do you when they showed that how they tracked it back to the Conjuring franchise, how he became possessed because he had that upside down cross on him on the back of his neck? I, it, it's it's weird because uh, Vera Farmiga's sister um, that plays Sister Maria. Basically, when they went and showed the end, they took it back to where the father of the priest and was what was supposed to be Sister Marie. They took it to where it was Ed, Ed and Lorraine Warren. That kind of confused me. I want to know if you guys caught that. Like, I think that was a mistake that I think a lot of you did not catch. And I wonder if the 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 producers and everyone that was uh, behind this film, if they really did, they notice that they had messed up right there because that was supposed to be the connection to the Conjuring franchise, which. I thought that that was mighty strange how in the nun movie, her name was Sister Marie. But when they took it back to when it was Ed and Lorraine Warren, uh, that was Lorraine Warren. So Sister Marie, how did how did they go from Sister Marie to uh, Lorraine Warren? That that right there, I just thought that that was kind of like, hmm, I wonder if anybody else caught that. So if you have not paid attention, if you did not catch that, watch the nun. If you don't want to watch the whole film, if you have watched it and you didn't really like it that much, Go to the very, very end and you guys will see what I'm talking about, how they showed the connection from the Nun movie, connecting it to the Conjuring franchise. And I think that that just, they got that wrong where it, uh, basically Sister Marie all of a sudden became Aunt um, Lorraine Warren in the Conjuring. Like that, that just, it was just like, I, I really caught that. I don't know if you guys caught that, but that was kind of weird and strange to me. But that's all I have for you guys for this one. Just want to be quick and brief with this. I wanted to give you guys two film that just on any given night, especially on a weekend or if you don't have nothing to do, go ahead and check out the regression and go ahead and check out the nun. The nun was okay. As I said, I think that the storyline could have been better. It was a little bit tad bit boring as far as with the storyline. It, it was something that I had already seen before with other films um, pertaining to something like this, like demonic possession, to demonic possession. So it wasn't nothing that really got me majorly excited, but it was a pretty cool, decent, decent film, especially for Vera Farmiga's sister, which I think that's why they had Vera Farmiga's sister in the film because it was supposed to be a connection to the conjuring. But I just think that they got, I, I just wonder if any of you guys, make sure you spam in the comments and let me know. Did you notice that, that Vera Farmiga's sister played Sister Marie, but then when at the end, it was supposed to be a connection to Ed and Lorraine Warren as far as the Conjuring franchise. Uh, also, go check out the re regression for you guys that like that kind of cult ritualistic type of sicko type stuff. Go, You go ahead and check that out. Me personally, um, it was just whatever to me. It reminded me of the movie The Witch. But that's all I have for you guys. I want to thank you guys for taking the time to peep it out. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. So until next time, peace.